Page 41, Down in the Valley. On page 38, they talk about the order of the sharps. You can read that and study and have fun with it. If you want, you want to, there's a pattern to it and you want to memorize that, that, that's entirely up to you. In my opinion, it's a complete waste of time. I would prefer you simply learn the scales. That'll tell you where the sharps are. And if you go around the circle of fifths, eventually, once you know all the scales, then you, you keep going through them, but I use the circle of fifths. It follows the patterns. I mean, you, you'll get it. you're adding a sharp each time you go around the circle, or you're taking a flat away each time. So you're kind of doing them in order. Yeah. So I wouldn't spend a lot of time worrying about order of the sharps or flats. The idea is when you see a bunch of sharps in a key signature, you immediately know what they are. You don't have to stop and figure them out. Well, I do it by knowing the scale. I know what notes are in the scale, so I know what notes are involved when I see a key signature. And then on page 39, they talk about another group of keys. Remember, they, this book and some other publishers also, they group the keys. Again, I see no purpose in it, but they're doing it. Okay, let's take a look at it. Remember, group one was C, G, and F. So it's no sharps or flats, or one sharp or one flat. Well, here we're going into the sharps. Here the groups are D, which has two sharps, A, which is three sharps, and E, which is four sharps. Okay, if that's how they want to group them, but in my mind, they serve no useful purpose. I've never had a need to group these key signatures. But if you want to do it or your teacher does it, you go right ahead. I, I'm not opposed to it. I just don't see the point. Now on page 40, we're getting into the key of D major. We've already had G major. It's one sharp. That's an F sharp. Remember, the first sharp in the key signature is always an F sharp. Just memorize it. Well, now we're adding another sharp. Now we've got two sharps to deal with. we got a F sharp again and C sharp. So now it's time to go to my scale video on D major and do the beginner port, the portion, the one octave up and down. Do everything I had discussed in that video. Learn the D major scale, because then when you get a piece in D major, you're just playing the notes in the D major scale. And you don't worry about sharpening the Fs and Cs, it just kind of happens. I'm, it's amazing how well it works, but it does work. So when I see a key signature with two sharps in it, I just do D major, and I just know the F and the C sharp are included. At the bottom of the page, they give you the primary chords. Well, again, this is the same as all the keys. There's one, four, and the five, seven chord. Well, in D major, let's take a look here. Let's see, let's come up here. D to D, and you got an F sharp and a C sharp. So the one chord is built on the step one, it's a D chord. And then the four chord, one, two, three, four, it's a G chord. We've seen that before. And we're putting the D on the bottom here, so we're going from here to here. Do you see a pattern here before? Okay, and then the five chord, one, two, three, four, five. Remember the C sharp? And then we add the seven to it, so it's a five, seven here. And then I want the A on top here. I'll just come down here. And we don't need all the notes, so I'll just do it here. So we go from here to here. The, again, it's the same pattern. So I got a one, four, five, seven. You'll see them in the music. You'll get it. Just be comfortable. Just know they're there. It's the same pattern. So if you know how to figure it out, big deal. Now, down in the valley, it's in key of D major. This is in 6-8 time. Remember our old friend 6-8 time? There's six counts in a measure, but we're counting eighth notes. So an eighth note gets a count. Well, if you look at the first measure, there's only three eighth notes in it, so it's a pickup measure. We're coming in on beat four. Four, five, six. Well, the first three beats are at the bottom. The one, two, and three are down there. So one hand at a time, right hand, you're here. Four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Remember the dotted quarter notes the same as three eighth notes. Just memorize it. 
doesn't matter what the time signature is, it's always the same as three eighth notes. Because the quarter note gets two and the dot gets one, you can do the math yourself. The E coming up, that's two quarter, dotted quarter notes tied, so you can hold that down for six counts. And then now they want you to just thumb on that, just bring the thumb down. You don't have to stay up here, just long enough to play it and then come back out. That's all, it's good work. We just kind of went into the 5 7 position. All right. Left hand's got the chords, except you got a here and then the one chord, and then a here. Well, that's a broken 5 7 chord. The last couple measures here, and then a one, and then a four chord. And then put them together here. One, two, three, four, five, six. because it's tied on six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. You get the idea. At the end, the D is tied, so you hold it down as you play those. Then you repeat that to do the second verse. Okay. So you go through and get comfortable with this. As far as articulation goes, it's all connected except the slurring. Look at that last measure of the first line. You're here. Lift both hands up so there's just a speck of silence before you go on. Here. It's like a breath. Here. And at the end, the last measure at the bottom here. When you repeat it, lift both hands up so there's just a little silence before you go on. So. As far as the dynamics go, it's, it's on the saw. This is a leisure piece. It's not loud or nothing. It's just enjoy. And these chords, keep these chords really soft. We want these in the background, wherever they are. you to transpose this to other keys and really what you're doing you're playing the same fingers in different keys because you're really in this position or this position well you can be in that position in the other keys they want you to go to what are the keys C G and F well in C position then instead of here we're here and we're just going to play the same fingers here the idea so you just, you just playing the same fingers here as and then the key of G or well, we're up here or down here and the heads need to be sorted together I, yeah, I like to separate them but I need this is melody so they need to be together and that, that's all I'm doing You get the idea? And then F, well, you're in this position. So let's see it. You can go through, and you can usually tell when you get it off because it'll sound wrong. And then you have to, let's see, which finger should I be using here? I don't like doing transpositions that way because it doesn't help. I mean, you're going to start moving the hands around a lot and your fingers are going to be who knows where. So just trying to remember which finger you're using doesn't always work all that well. But it's kind of neat to think about playing in these different keys because that's sort of what I do when I play. I play in the key of whatever the key signature is because I know the scales. So after you've learned it, at least the notes, no hesitations, let's play it together very slowly, just like it's written. 
We're going to repeat it. I'll give us three counts, one ready go, because we're coming on beat four. Let's just go slowly together. One ready go.